But Nick, it doesn't end for us right here. You have some future exciting news for us to share. Yeah, that's right. You know, we're talking about connectivity here, and ubiquitous connectivity means that it needs to be fast, and very reliable, and very secure. Now, we've worked with our partner, Verizon Wireless, over the years, and they're leading in the deployment of mobile access through their 4G LTE network. Now, just imagine how exciting and amazing it's going to be when we can take the Verizon 4G LTE access and be able to have OnStar cloud services from your car. You basically have a smartphone or a tablet on wheels. You guys actually showcased a 4G car here at CES last year. Yeah, we did. We um, did a research vehicle last year, and we placed, um, since then, one of our vehicles in the Verizon Waltham, Massachusetts 4G LTE Advanced Research Facility. Um, and then because of that success and the further work that we've been doing, they've asked us to work with them again. So the concept for this year was, you know, how do we deploy all of the services to the cloud and then make it work with an absolute minimal hardware set in the vehicle? So while last year's research vehicle was about the driver and co-driver interaction, things with cloud services like traffic, collision alerts, and, and others, uh, this year we're taking a different approach and a bigger leap forward. So, but in order to tell you this, I'd like you to meet somebody. Well, join me over here for a second. Yes, I did. So, I'd like to introduce you to um, not the real Steve Schwinky, but the virtual Steve Schwinky, uh, who we'll be Skyping with directly from one of the four GE vehicles. Um, he's elsewhere. In There's no height difference here, by the way, Nick. No height difference. It's not our at all. <laughs> He knows it's you. He knows it's me, that's right. So, Steve, are you there? Schwanky! <laughs> I'm here! Hey, thank this you. This is like yeah, that moment I, with the family. I, I, you get in front of the camera. <laughs> um, in, in the back of the Chevy Bolt. And in fact, you know what? It's one of two bolts that we have this year at CES. One's going to be at the OnStar booth, and the other's going to be at the Verizon booth. And you know what? They're quick to show our clear leadership in smart grid technology. Not only are we able to show apps like charge status and remaining charge and charging stations both in and away from the vehicle, but we're also using this embedded connectivity to provide real-time information and demand and response capabilities, enabling our public utility partners to build a smarter, more efficient grid. It also shows home connectivity, so users can control their home thermostat, lights, doors, and any internet-connected device right from their car. We also have distributed control of their in-vehicle experience. And you know what? This allows the drivers and passengers to share and control content between all the screens. And of course, with the power of the 4G technology and its high speed and low latency, we can bring in streaming video in real time to rear seat passengers. In fact, movies or music can be accessed right from your home PC, um, or you can connect to other streaming services like YouTube. And of course, we have gaming apps like Angry Birds. And finally, we have Skype that allows our customers to make video calls to anywhere on multiple devices um, and or tablets um, and things like that. So, you know, my daughter, when she's in the back of this wall, she can call grandma on the way home and tell her about her game winning goal. You know, this is a really exciting stuff and we're able to make this big step forward and not just talk about what we're doing or just talk about um, this stuff but demonstrate what we're doing today and what our future could be with our Adams Cloud Computing Platform. Thank you so much, Steve. We'll see you soon on the show floor. Two cars are upstairs at CES. All right, thanks, All right, Steve. Thank you. thank you. Take care. So I think it's actually funny. We just showed a barrage of features and everyone perked up when Angry Birds showed up, <laughs> which I find fascinating. But to have that capability, can you imagine? I call Angry Birds itself the ultimate babysitter. To be able to send that back in the rear seat, when do we see something like that become available? Well, clearly this is a research vehicle. It's a concept car. But rest assured that the programming and development that we're doing in this vehicle, these features are going to make their way into our connected vehicles sooner than you think. Excellent. Well, there you have it. Right now, I want to invite Jim and Linda back on stage. I want to thank everyone for being here, and let me just sum it up for you. Simple, safe, and connected. Real products and services helping real people and keeping them connected in and out of vehicle. Q one of the most intuitive and customer-focused in-vehicle connectivity solutions to date. OnStar, expanding their portfolio by offering an API to access the OnStar cloud. And last, 
the future of connectivity through accessing broadband cloud services in the car with Verizon 4G LTE. I want to thank all of our presenters for joining us here this evening. And I want you all to stay around. We have beverages. And we also have designers and engineers and experts from both the Cadillac and the OnStar side. And be sure to take a closer look at all of our interactive displays around the room. I'm Katie Lindendahl, and I enjoyed being with you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you.